Hello and welcome to my channel. This is a 2020 reading for Taurus, Moon sign and Rising sign. And for those of you who are not familiar with your Moon and Rising sign, I suggest you to check on my previous video about astrology explanation and there's a link on that video where you can check all your three signs. And for those of you who would want a more in-depth reading or a private reading for yourself, you can book your reading. Just send me a message to my email down below. Okay, let's just start. This is the layout from January to December and I've also pulled one oracle card to see the overall energy for 2020. Okay, let's start with the month of January. We have two of bows and this card represents a decision making. I feel that for some Taurus, they will have to start the year to make the decision. It might be related to work, family, relationship or themselves. Something that they would want to change or about an opportunity that came to them since last year and that this year will be the turning point for them so that they have to decide on the early month of the year. I feel that this will mark the growth for most of the Taurus this year and this year will have a big impact in their life. Now for February, we have the journey card so that this is also part of the continuation of the January's energy. I feel that they have made their mind by February and that it will be a hell of a journey for Taurus. For some of you, it will mean that you decide to go for something new, something that you are not familiar with and it's kind of scaring you in a way, but I believe that this will be the journey of your growth. So whatever that is, Taurus, I, I know that you are strong enough to go through it and you will be grateful you choose this path. Now for the month of March, we have four of stones. I feel that this is the month where you have finally found your sense of ground. You will feel more comfortable by this month and that you might have found a new friends or I have a sense that some of you might be moving to a new house or to a new place or even overseas and for some of you this month would be a tough month for some of you because I sense danger for some of the Taurus and that they have to protect themselves from the situation or people so just be aware of this and be careful throughout this month on april we have the six of stones i kind of feel that this represents self-destruction that they don't use their full potential during this month or that they do more of self-destruction talk to themselves and this is not a good thing to do so don't get too introspective during this month and that you have to stay optimistic and i would also suggest doing a daily affirmation so that you gain more self-confidence now for the month of May, you have the mirror. I kind of feel that this card tells that this is a month for you to change yourself. It's more like an inner self. It's more of a how you 
think of something, your perspective of something, this is a good time for you to try to see things differently, especially something that is not serving you. You might want to change that behavior so that you can see things clearly and use the best potential in you. Now on June, we have the sun of life. So you see as this all played, there will be some tough times you have to go through and that on May it suggests that you change the way you see things and by June you will start to be more aligned with yourself and you will also see which direction to follow. So June will have a good impact on you. Some of you, I feel that this also tells me that you might be taking a summer vacation. Have fun with your loved ones during this holiday. Now for the month of July, you have two of arrows. I feel that this month you might be dealing with some kind of injustice in your life or that it could also mean that you do this to yourself you are blinded you don't see things clearly it's like you don't think before you act and that costs you something so this is a good month for you to take it easy don't get easily influenced by what people say find your inner core and be true to yourself and you will find balance in your life and on august you will have 10 of bows i feel that august will be another hard month for you or this might also means that you will be busy during this month a lot of new responsibilities or you might have changed a career or you might start a new business become a business owner and that is why your responsibility is more than ever or you might also become a new mom and this also add to your responsibility in life so whatever that is you will be dealing with just find the people who can help you so that you don't struggle too hard on your new responsibility on september you have the seven of vessels i feel that this month will be a month that you are more in your thoughts so i would suggest just do one thing at a time don't overwhelm yourself with all of the things don't multitask take a break every now and then during your busy life so that you don't get overwhelmed with all of this this might also related to the new responsibility you got now we have the queen of arrows or symbolized as swan for the month of october this is the month where you finally get a grip on whatever's been going on in your life and that you are willing to go with the flow you are more at peace i feel that this is a good month for you because you have learned a lot and be more patient with yourself and the situations that you've been dealing with on november we have six of arrows this is a transition month for you you will be leaving all the things or people who don't serve you anymore this is another month of growth for you so just once again remember that all the journey is necessary for your growth and that believe that you will find 
the rainbow in the end of the tunnel. For some of you, this might also mean that you might be traveling for a business related or a family related trip. Now well, for the last month of 2020, you have seven of bows. So I feel that this will be the month where you learn your lesson throughout this year and you can't wait to start another year with a with less baggages with less worries and for the overall energy we have the oracle card that says i'm unapologetic about what i desire and trust that what i focus on will grow so see that this is a way of telling that the whole things has been a struggle or might not seem so good at first but towards the end you will start to see that this is the journey that you have to go through in order for you to grow and don't be sorry for whatever action or decision the the hard one that you have to make because it brings you something better okay so that is all for me for Taurus in 2020 I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel and like the videos also share your thoughts in the comment section below Thank you for watching and have a good year of 2020.